hi i come back what well, actually i have this thing of disappearing and <laughs> reappearing but i'm here <laughs> i'm here guys and yes my name is natasha axel also known as bug with double g and welcome to my youtube channel you know this pandemic has really hit the whole world and as a result so many people are living in fear people are angry people you know are depressed people are, 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 are heartbroken people are in pain people are grieving you know all these sorts of feeling you know they are all over the place there's so much tension and for most people they feel like they are alone they feel like they are forsaken or abandoned well i bring good news today yes god wants you to know that you're not alone he has not forsaken us he's actually with us and he wants you to know that and not feel that he is with you no 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 he wants you to to know it you know you need to be convicted you need to know that child i am your daddy and i am with you and so um with that being said in this very short video i hope it's gonna be short because but yeah holy spirit take over <laughs> take over so yeah i'm just gonna share with you a few scriptures that um that i love you know especially not especially some some seasons when you know they are they are wonderful yes <laughs> wonderful seasons and i always just you know remind myself of god's word and the lord wants you to know you know to be reminded also that child i am with you always regardless of what is happening i need you to trust in me and the one thing that actually moves the heart of god is not our tears it's not us shouting screaming wang 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 no it's actually our faith in him trusting god moves his heart believing that he is god almighty and he is capable of doing the impossibility moves the heart of god so for some people that feel like this whole pandemic caught god of god nah he's almighty he is fully aware he's where the catch is what matters to god is how you and i actually respond to this pandemic are you gonna be crying living in fear you know blaming the lord where are you why are you not doing what what, what? no 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 it's how you respond are you gonna worship him throughout the season and acknowledge that god you are almighty and you've got the whole world in your hands you are faithful <laughs> You are faithful. Mala Groda, he's faithful. You know, that's how God wants us to respond to this whole situation that is happening. You know, because faith really moves the heart of God. It's faith that moves the heart of God. So, yeah, so I'm going to share a few scriptures here now from the Bible, of course, the Word of God. And we're going to start off in the book of Joshua. Praise the Lord. Joshua chapter 1, verse 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 5 uh, we're gonna read joshua chapter 1 verse 5 and 9 now in in verse 5 this is the lord talking to joshua he's telling him as i was with moses so i will be with thee i will not fail thee nor forsake thee god is so faithful you know and the and the word of god says he has exalted his his, his word above his own name so whatever he says name is already accomplished it's already established praise the lord he's not a man that he needs that he lies no a son of man that he needs to repent no that is not our god god is faithful and whatever he says is already done you know praise the lord and um in verse 9 he says have not i commanded thee be strong and of a good courage be not afraid neither neither be thou dismayed for the lord thy god is with thee whithersoever thou goest meaning anywhere you find yourself the Lord goes with us. Praise the Lord. He is always with us. For example, us ladies, we love to carry our purse and handbags and all this makeup and what, 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 what. Lip gloss, very important, ladies. Yes, you know, and we always carry it everywhere we go, you know, and stuff. And for some people, it's their cell phones. They cannot live without their phones. I used to be that person also. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So yeah, and to an extent that if I forgot it at, at, at home while I'm at work, I would actually come back home and be like, mm, I need my phone because I need to be, you know. So the presence of the Lord goes beyond that, you know. He, he carries us actually and he goes ahead of us. He's with us. He surrounds us. Praise the Lord. That is who God is. He's always with us. He's consistent and he is constant. 
praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord ah i love the word of god i love the word of god i love it so much and in the book of isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 the lord says fear thou not for i am with thee be not dismayed again he said be not be dismayed don't be moved don't be shaken don't live in fear and you know in all those negative things no 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 no. he says for i am thy god and i will strengthen thee ye i will help thee yeah i will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness this is the lord talking to us praise the lord so he's got us you know he strength he, he strengthens us all the time he is our help you know He's our helper. He's our light and our salvation. And just like David said in the book of Psalm, chapter 23, verse 1, he said, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And just like Paul said it in, 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 you know, in the New Testament where he said, you know, none of these things move me. Yes, I see Corona. You know, I see all these funny things that you're doing, but I am not moved. I stand my ground on the word of God. My faith is actually stayed up. You know, I am trusting the Lord. <laughs> I am trusting the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And ding, 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 y'all ready? <laughs> In Matthew chapter 28, verse 20, this is Jesus Christ speaking. Nah? He's saying, I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. I am with you. Ah, yeah, yeah. That is powerful. Always, not sometimes, not when you are going through a great season or when things are, you know, a bit, hmm. No, 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 no. He says, I am always with you. Synonyms of the word always. Consistent, praise the Lord. Unfailing, available any time of the day. He is with us until the end of the world. He is with us. And the last but not least, because I, you know, I said it's going to be so short, but yeah, you know. <laughs> In the book of John chapter 14, if we just look at um, this one way, this is Jesus Christ talking again. He says, let not your heart be troubled. Don't be shaken. Don't worry too much, child. No. You know, he says, yeah, believe in God. Believe also in me. Praise the Lord. And then the 16th verse says, um, this is Jesus Christ, you know, talking to his disciples where he told them, you know, that in my father's house, it's, there are a lot of mentions, so I'm going to prepare a place for each and every one of you. And of course, his disciples must got used to spending time with him. And now they're like, uh-uh. Jesus, you are leaving us. No, 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 no. And he was like, no, 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 no. Verse 16. And he says, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comfort. So praise the Lord, that he may abide with you forever. Who is this comforter? It is the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God abides in us. He is always with us. He's the one that does all these marvelous, great works. Praise the Lord in our lives. It is a manifestation of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a friend at all times. He is our strengthener, comforter, advocate, intercessor, you name it. He is, I, he is everything. For you to live a successful Christian life, you've got to have the Holy Spirit, girl. <laughs> so, yeah, so, you know, you're not alone. Always the Lord carries us. As, you know, we should, we should actually be like babies. You know, babies, they trust so much. They easily trust to an extent that, you know, when you throw them up, you know, when you swing them up in the air, you know, they're there. <laughs> While you're swinging them up, they know that you are going to hold them. <laughs> they know they ain't going to fall because, honey, you are the one swinging me up in the air. So, honey, you are going to hold me and I'm not going to fall and get hurt in any way. Praise the Lord. So, that's how, you know, you need to trust God. Be like a child. I mean, you are God's child. Trust the Lord. You know, let these things, whatever is happening in this world, let it not move you. Don't doubt God. Nah. He's almighty. He's powerful and he's got us you know he's got us so yeah i said it's gonna be so short but i'm seeing you know holy spirit <laughs> so yeah so thank you so much for tuning in and yeah trust in the lord he's got us he's always with us you know we are overcomers praise the lord jesus and the lord the lord knew we will have we will face all these things these trials tribulations persecution corona what what all these things, all these challenges that we're facing right now, he was fully aware that we would encounter such things. But he says what in his word? He says, be of good cheer. Cheer up, brethren. Cheer up, son. Cheer up, my girl. I have overcome this. And victory is yours. Victory is mine. 
victory you know we are victors in christ jesus and stop spreading fear you know spread hope you know spread hope spread the word of god spread christ you know so yeah so i thought of sharing that because yo it's so so much tension so people are scared and that's not what god wants it's not it's not it's not in god's plan he doesn't want his kids to be fearful and you know living in fear and all these things so nah so yeah so yes guys until next time thank you so much for tuning in and goodbye goodbye <laughs> goodbye <laughs>